if I press this button, my mouse will click for me and my iPad will now turn into my second display. And if I click this button, all my tabs will close down and I'll open Smooth Jazz. If I click on this button, Bob is your uncle, ChatGPT just opened. If you tried doing automations before to try to save time, for me, sometimes I make an automation and then it just breaks after a month and then it ends up not being satisfied. And I feel like that's the point click one button, the computer does one action, and I sit here satisfied. And I think I found just that. I'm gonna show you the eight shortcuts I have to automate work on my keyboard, how I used ChatGPT to make them for me. But by the end of this video, you can also get a super satisfying button like this. So first off, the way that I'm creating these is through a software called Automator. And Automator lets you do a lot of different things, specifically what I'm gonna do in this video. Now, if you're on Windows, the option that you have, which is equally as easy and powerful, is called Auto Hotkey. I used this before on my Windows. It's actually even more powerful than Automator on Mac, but there are ways to get around everything. Step number two, automate your first task. For me, all of this started when I wanted to search for a way to open ChatGPT in just one button. I ended up going back and forth, searching for different options, and then I learned about Automator on the Mac, and I started to build a quick action. But I was a little bit overwhelmed by how many options and all the things that you can do here. So I asked ChatGPT, how can I use Automator to open a new Chrome tab that opens ChatGPT? It told me I could easily create a new document, configure the quick action, and add a run app Apple script action. I never heard about Apple script. I copied the code, clicked on run Apple script and pasted the code in here. I had never done this before. So this was a pretty big moment. All I had to do was click on this run button. And just like that, you see ChatGPT was open. Now all I needed to do was step number three, add a keyboard shortcut. E-commerce owners and designers are using this AI tool not to fall behind. It's called Pick Copilot, and let me show you three things. First, I'm gonna click on Virtual Try-On. I'm gonna go to Zara and get a high-quality photo of this awesome jacket, drag it in here, select one of these models, and boom, she's now wearing the jacket, and it looks really good. Your top designer in the age of AI. Second, they have the AI fashion models. Say you really like this outfit, outfit, but you just don't like the model. Save image, upload image. Let's select this model. Let's keep the hair color default. And we can also change the background scene. Let's create. And there you have it. Here's before, here's after. Here's before, here's after. Am I the only one that can't see that this is fake? And number three, the AI product ads creator, where say you sell any of these items, you just upload and pick between hundreds of different templates that actually look good. We just click on regenerate. There you have it, ready for you to use. In addition, you get the background remover, image translator, instant backgrounds, and even AI dubbing. Make e-commerce design efficient, creative, and simple with Pick Copilot AI. So go to Pick pickcopilot.com to test it on your designs. Now all I needed to do was step number three, add a keyboard shortcut. So I saved this file, GPT open, and little did I know that all I had to do was to search for keyboard shortcuts and in max settings for keyboard under services and general, I had all my automators right here ready for me to put a shortcut. So for GPT open, I love how my F4 has a search icon. So I put it on F4 as well as just smashing all the buttons in the bottom left. So just double click and smash that F4. Now on any page, all I needed to do was click on the shortcut and Bob is your uncle ChatGPT just opened. To me, this was a breakthrough in my productivity because it saves me two seconds, maybe 20 times per day. And just how satisfying it is. I don't have to use my mouth. Just one button, the computer does the action and I get the satisfaction. I wanna show you some more that I did. And while we're going through these examples, think about how can you shave off 
two seconds on every process that you do. It's setting up the perfect Word documents for your writing. It's closing all the applications so you can focus or even free up your laptop. You can literally do that in one button instead of clicking here, there, blah, blah, blah. It takes like 20 buttons and all of a sudden your mind goes to different places, not where you're supposed to be. So let me show you automation number one. What this automation does is close down every single software that is not Notion, Automator, Slack, Moom, or Resolve. Also, if OBS, Notion, or Chrome is not running, it just activates that. And this is something that I like to do in the morning. Automation number two, Spotify morning. So if you are a believer in good habits and a morning routine, and maybe you read the book Atomic Habits, I can break it into three parts, trigger, action, reward. And what I love about these is that I can use it as a trigger of a habit stack. So this one, for example, it plays a playlist on Spotify as well as it launches Notion where I have my to-do list and I can start working right away. So every single day, I start with this automation and my trigger response goes into habit mode. And within two hours, I don't even remember what happened because flow state, automation number three, iPad dual display. This one is probably my most satisfying one because I use it so much. And essentially, I was doing this on a daily basis, just going up to this button here, then clicking on screen mirroring, then clicking on my iPad, and then it turns on. And I'm like, hey, it's not that bad. You know, I'm just clicking up here, clicking up here, clicking again. So it's three buttons for me to click. Just look how satisfying it is. I'm going to click the button, look at my mouse. It goes up to the top, bam, bam. Now it turns off. I'm gonna do the button again, look at my mouse, it goes up, bam, bam, again. And I can see in real life, it turning on, it becoming my second monitor. So how I created this is a little bit different than the other ones because I couldn't use Apple Script. So essentially what you do here instead is a watch me do. And this works where it records your mouse, that every place you click, so this only works if the exact same pixels happen to be uh, again and again. So this happens every single time it's the exact same pixel, which means that it will always click on the exact same spot. But if you have a display that kind of moves around or something, this wouldn't work. So basically I just clicked on record, then I clicked on this button, then I clicked on screen mirroring, then I clicked on Anna's iPad, and then I basically made the playback speed at like 9x, so it goes way faster. This one is by far my favorite. I just need to show you one more time. I'm gonna click the button, look at the iPad now, and boom, it's officially on, and I got a second display with just one button. It's just the most satisfying thing in the world. Let me go through the other ones kind of quickly. The next automation is check. This one is kind of silly, but it's just so satisfying. Again, if I click F2 here, it puts this perfect check mark right after. Again, so satisfying. The next automation, chill mode, turns my brightness to 20, closes all my tabs and every program, and then plays jazz music on YouTube. And for the habit people, this is a habit close. When you're finished with work, trigger your own rest. The next one is film quick action. Again, closes down a bunch of programs, then opens two OBSs, one for my camera, one for the desktop, another trigger for a good habit stack. Next one, GPT plus Gemini. We kind of talked about this one already, super simple to set up. And the last macro is called sleep macro. And this is something that actually sets a 30 minute timer. It also opens a YouTube channel that I watch right before I sleep to have as background noise. So by now you can automate your life. So you can now make an automation that does an action to create ultimate satisfaction. I wish somebody showed me this before. So if you appreciate this video, subscribe to the channel. And it's not only automation that can save you time. ChatGPT can also save you time. And I have a great prompts list that you can get in the description down below. Make e-commerce design efficient, creative, and simple with Pick Copilot AI. So go to pickcopilot.com to test it on your designs. See you tomorrow. Peace.